Hello YouTubers, happy Valentine's Day and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Cruisin' Lightning McQueen. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So when Lightning McQueen entered Ramon's body shop for a new coat of paint with his white wall tires, set in which were which he had received from Luigi and Guido you know, he received he received a a paint job similar to a fit Corvette C a late 50s Corvette and it even surprised Sally and then, and he, but it, but it wasn't just Lightning's paint job that surprised Sally. It was the whole the the neon that the whole townsfolk of Radiator Springs had fixed, and they even cruised down the main street that Lightning fixed with Bessie, and, and while the sun shaboom by the cords. And played. And at that moment, Flo saw some lights which she and Sally thought were customers. As it turns out, that a, that a spotlight shone on lightning, which made her think it was the ghost light, which it, it turns out to be a swarm of paparazzis led by Cory Turbowitz, who were, who had found, which they had found, Lightning McQueen, who had been missing, missing all week from the LA International Speedway. And then later, Mac pulled in with Lightning's agent Harv on the phone. And Harv informed him that if like, if he doesn't get to California, Chick Hicks would have the Dynaco team all to himself. When it was time to leave, Lightning didn't know how to say goodbye to Sally. And after and after Lightning pulled out, Corey thanked Doc Hudson for the call. And as it turns out, out which that doc Hud, that doc was the one who called the paparazzi and as mac and the paparazzis left radiator springs sally scolded doc for for calling the paparazzis to have lightning get out of radiator springs when he was actually trying to help the whole townsfolk bring the whole town back on the map. Although, I must admit, it was very selfish of Doc to have the paparazzis haul Lightning McQueen out of Radiator Springs when he was actually trying to help the whole townsfolk bring, bring the whole town back on the map. But what do you think? Was it, was it actually selfish of Doc to kick Lightning out of Radiator Springs when he was actually trying to help the whole town? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So now, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his smirking facial expression and his headlight stickers and his no tampos and just his dark red paint job and no Rusty's logo, no 95, no spoiler. On the left side we've got the exhaust pipes and the chrome and the red rim white wall tires and the half wide oval shape with a small yellow lightning bolt. Bolt Sim similar to the Corvette C1 from the late 50s and the gas cap. And we've also got the tail lights and no bumper stickers, which in the act, 
this is an inaccurate model, and in in the film, Lightning received bumper stickers from Lizzie. He, although this was corrected in 2020, which 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 he got re-released with the bumper stickers. Although I am hoping to get the accurate version of this car. So anyhow, on the right side, we've got a similar design but completely different. And that is it. So he was released with the bumper stickers twice as a single in 2020 and in a two pack with I mean thrice in a and two pack yuck, one with Sally and another with Doc Hudson in 2022 so now let's compare them to the other to the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen Here are some differences. Both are Lightning McQueen. Bright red paint job, dark red paint job, 95 on headlights, no 95 on headlights, rusties on hood, no rusties on hood, lightning bolt stickers, no lightning bolt stickers, 95 on top, no 95 on top, no name signature, no name signature, Light year racing tires, white wall tires, 95 on a yellow retro lightning bolt, no 95, several piston cup logos, no piston cup logos, Rusty's logo, no Rusty's logo, just the gas cap and the, and the exhaust pipes, spoiler, no spoiler, Ninety five on tail lights, Rusty's logo and rookie stripes. No ninety five on tail lights, no Rusty's logo or rookie stripes. And that and that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other McQueens. We've got Ton Lightning McQueen. On and now and now for the Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. Again, both are Lightning McQueen. Both have dark red paint. And Rusty's on hood. No Rusty's on hood. 95 in name signature. No 95 in our name signature. Spoiler, no spoiler. Ninety five and contingency sponsors. Rusty's logo. No Rusty's logo or ninety five or contingency sponsors. Racing tires. White wall tires. Both of them have the half white oval shape with the yellow lightning bolt. And both have the gas caps and the exhaust pipes. Spoiler, no spoiler. Rusty's logo and 95 on taillights. No Rusty's logo or 95 on taillights. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the other. Now for the other McQueens, we've got Ton Lightning McQueen, Finish Line Lightning McQueen. Dirt Track Lightning McQueen, Cactus Lightning McQueen, and finally Dynaco Lightning McQueen. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which version of Lightning from Cars 1 is your favorite? And do you think I should get the corrected version of Cruise and Lightning McQueen with the bumper stickers? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, 
make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car the past from the car collection video should I review next. And pl please consider the support by subscribing and viewing my channel. I would really appreciate it very much. And I'll have to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day. Goodbye now.